Thanks, Spencer. Well, last year, this was a little bit different than this year. You've had a full year. What's the difference been like for you in year two as head coach in a, a full year where you could recruit all of these guys? I, I think that um, the, you know, the players that we were, at, we were able to add, um, I, don't, I don't think they're a lot different than what we've had in the past. Um, maybe a few guys that we were able to get in the mix, but I'm just really proud of the environment and the atmosphere that we have here. And um, same level of excitement as we had last year, you know, with the, uh, with the uh, alumni returning and uh, everyone that's been involved in helping us recruit. And so, um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun, and I like seeing all the guys come back. And uh, regardless of who they played for, you know, they're all BYU and part of the family and part of a great fraternity. And so it's, a, it's indicative of what we've been telling these recruits from day one. And so uh, uh, the opportunity to meet and, 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 and uh, invite all these guys to our family, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. And being able to do it with our alumni, it makes it extra special. Seems like there was an emphasis on defensive linemen and cornerbacks, maybe more than some other positions. Why those two positions? Um, I think that it all starts up front, you know, and, and um, I don't know. I, I, I don't think you can ever have too many big guys. And so um, for us, uh, getting big guys and getting speed is really important and having guys that are playmakers and be able to handle, handle the ball, you know. So uh, um, I, think, I think a lot of the guys that we recruited also can um, – uh, develop into other positions, and so there, there are a lot. Uh, a lot of them are versatile in, in in where we can play them, and they're not just limited to one position. So, uh, a lot of the guys that we've recruited, we talked to them about developing them and, and seeing where they, uh, you know, where they mature, where they mature, and and where they're going to end up playing. But uh, the the fact that they're really flexible and, and they're athletic, uh, that that that's the, the goal that we wanted to have in bringing guys to the, to the team this year. What's it like to see a guy grab that blue Y hat when he's at a table like that? Well, yeah, it's nice. I mean, that's, that's, uh, I, I can say that uh, we kind of anticipated some of the things that, was going, that were going to happen today, but it's always nerve-wracking until it's actually done, you know. So commitments and all that stuff really don't matter until you just get it over with. And so it's kind of the, the way I felt when, uh, on my wedding day. You know, I was just making sure my, my wife showed up and that she said yes, and we were on, on our way. So... <laughs> Uh, once you're in, you're in, and, and the, I'm just happy that these guys are part of the family. And, and uh, we felt really good with, with the staff that we have and, and the people that are involved. And just being able to highlight what BYU is all about, the people. And, and that's something that was very, uh, you know, evident when, when our recruits and their families spoke about BYU and the people that were involved. Not just the coaches, but the players and also uh, people involved at BYU on their visits. And it was something that was... Uh, that was a huge highlight, and I love being part of that. We'll break down the return missionaries and mid-year signees later, coming up with you in studio as well. But a lot of people want to know, what's the latest on Mo Longy back from a mission a couple days ago? Yeah, he's big. I mean, so he didn't lose a lot of weight, but um, he's going to get, he's going to be great. And we have a great uh, con conditioning room and, you know, and, and a great uh, staff there in the, in the weight room that can get him ready. And so, um, but he has a size that uh, we can work with. And so... We'll see what Coach Tuyaki and Coach Kafusi and, and, the, and the staff can do, and we'll see what Coach Tafisi can do in the weight room. But uh, he's got a he's got a, a good um, good body to work with, and let's just try to get him ready so he can dominate and do some use that big mass on the field. Okay, thanks, Coach. I appreciate it. Thank you. Back to Studio B, guys.